Hey there lovely people, it's Sun Fruit Dan here. And Sophie from Sophie's Joy. So today we were making this video to do with the topic of Sophie's Joy, my girlfriend Sophie and her YouTube channel. And the extended breastfeeding videos that she posts of her sharing information on extended best breastfeeding with her four year old son Shay and just showing herself breastfeeding and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been sharing her videos on my channel because yeah, she wants to help normalize it and like I'm all for extended breastfeeding and breastfeeding in general. And yeah, basically when I've been posting these, I've been getting so much hate towards me, so many haters. And yeah, it's obviously been quite a controversial topic for people and it brings a lot of things up in people like their belief systems and stuff like that around and it can change a lot of their belief systems and they can just yeah not be very nice and we've been getting comments on there saying that I'm a pedo I'm a weirdo so is my girlfriend like we need to be locked up this is completely wrong like and then saying things like you should do, you're going to start making porn videos and sex videos as well because you're doing stuff like this and it's like what are you talking about it's just a crazy mindset isn't it it's yeah just... it's really sad so yeah i'm here with sophie and yeah we wanted to both talk about this so yeah we could just share how we're feeling about this and and other things surrounding it so yeah i'm gonna let her talk a little bit on this now as well yeah so when danny was reminding me some of the awful comments that that we've read well not only on his profile but I get similar ones too but I think people are particularly triggered because they see him as a male posting breastfeeding videos and they immediately feel that that's suspicious like they immediately feel they immediately assume the worst and uh, yeah Danny is really passionate about normalizing extended breastfeeding or full-term weaning as I like to call it so why would he not share those videos breastfeeding is a big part of his life he sees me breastfeeding all the time it is normal to him now so yeah he's he's just wanting to share it amongst all the many other things that he's passionate about and I'm really glad that he's doing that I think it's great that men get involved in normalizing something that needs to be more of a part of our culture that we need to be seeing on a daily basis and not having people freak out because they see somebody breastfeeding in a corner. <laughs> yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. It's like we are born into this world and the only food we're meant to be having for ages is like breast milk. And most people put them on formula, which is full of all these toxic substances, which is not designed for your child at all. It's not health promoting whatsoever. And for me, I am a health coach and a health mentor. So I want to be getting people the most natural things that are the best for them and their children so they can have the most optimal state of health and well-being because who doesn't want to feel healthy because when you don't you don't feel that great and yeah like extended breastfeeding it just makes sense to me it's like you let the child wean themselves when they want to wean rather than when you want to wean because they know when they want to wean rather than you they are so in tune with their own needs so when people are just like weaning them when they feel they want to just for their own needs I think that's quite selfish in my opinion and yeah we just want to teach people well Sophie wants to teach people and I'm going to be sharing information that yeah like you can do extended breastfeeding for years and years and years and you just naturally let them wean and all the other things that she has to share on the topic around this. When I read these comments what it does for me I I'm, both of us are past taking it personally and taking it on and believing that these things are true we're, we're way past that but what it what it does for me is it it gives me an insight into where those people are at and how triggered they are and how shocked or offended or whatever they are so when people respond from that place they respond with insults they respond uh, with put downs they want to call us or Danny names they want to make it wrong make what we're doing wrong yeah. so that they can feel right because it's it's made them feel uncomfortable <laughs> um, but that's not that's not the way through like yes breastfeeding will be triggering to a society that largely has has forgotten that it exists um, but we have to move through that into reality and our biological reality is that breastfed babies and children thrive over in, in any studies compared to bottle fed children they always thrive so how are we going to do that people need to move through their uncomfortable feelings they just need to feel them they just need to understand that it's always better to follow our biological needs rather than 
avoid offending people and avoid upsetting people and doing the, the right thing mm -hmm. just com compared to what everybody else does. So you can only get the good results from doing the right thing. Yeah, and like Sophie was saying, it's like people are projecting their own beliefs onto other people. So they are being emotionally triggered with their belief systems and then they're just getting angry and fueling that anger towards us and that hate and stuff like that. Rather than looking within themselves and seeing why they've had that emotional trigger and working on it and seeing that, yeah, like being very open-minded as well. It's like, think about it, it's something that's natural, it's something that's meant to be for children and babies, basically, when they're growing up, to give them the best state of health. It's like, so why would you get angry about something like that? It's like, I can completely, with anything that someone says to me, even if it changes my belief system, if it makes sense, it's like, I change that belief system straight away. I don't just shut off. And it's like, most people have belief systems that are programmed through the mainstream society and from the news and the government and stuff like that. So they're taking in a lot of other people's belief system that isn't their own belief system. And then yeah, people are trying to force their belief system upon us and try and make us feel bad. But for me, I just laugh. I find it funny. I've never had an issue with caring what other people think. That's why I have dreadlocks, tattoos. That's why I, I health coach. That's why I've never really followed what the mainstream people do basically. Because I know what's true within me, what feels right within me, and I don't care what other people think. It's not going to affect me in a negative way whatsoever. And yeah, I just see that they're not where I am. They're just lacking awareness and a higher state of consciousness to be aware of those things. It's not their fault. I don't hate you at all. Like, I feel love towards you people and compassion because that's what you need. And yeah, I would just love to thank you people for all of these nasty, horrible comments because it just makes me learn, grow and evolve so much more. Because yeah, I just have to look inwardly within myself if I feel in a negative way, which I don't really with it. And yeah, I just don't feel any negative emotions to it and I don't channel my energy into replying to those people. It just makes me laugh, really. So yeah, I just move on from it and get on with my life and keep sharing these more and more. It fuels me even more to share these videos. It's like, if it's causing a lot of controversy, then that is what needs to happen with anything to be accepted by mainstream society. Because this thing's very controversial, a lot of people are going to be drawn to it from all different walks of life. So the more attraction you can get to it, the more people you can get to look at that information, like with the videos we're sharing, the more chance we have of getting people to think like, oh, like, I've never heard of this before, like this makes sense. And they start to change the belief system, share it with other people and stuff like that. And that's what I want to be doing with this and all the other videos that I share as well. Yeah, some of the hating comments that, that Danny's received, that I receive, well, for both of us, because we talked about this earlier, for both of us it really encourages us to carry on going because it shows that there is a lack in that area. It shows that people are not used to breastfeeding. They don't feel that it's normal. They are still shocked about it. So I, I want to keep exposing it. I, I want to keep showing people that this is a thing, that this exists and this is healthy. And this is what we would do naturally if we were not interrupted by other people's opinions and schedules and work. and responsibilities if mothers were able to mother naturally they would breastfeed for longer and yeah thank you for watching and thank you for helping us we love you very very much so we send you lots and hugs and kisses so yeah what i do is put a link for sophie's joys channel and down below and if you want to subscribe to my channel subscribe down below and yeah if you like the video like it down below share it with others you think you would find this helpful subscribe if you like to get more videos and topics on extended breastfeeding healthy living veganism fitness detoxification and all these amazing things that i've learned to transform people's health and life in such a profound way so yeah we'd like to end it by saying thank you for taking the time to go out of your way to watch this so yeah have an amazing day lots of love bye